is Karen Stangram and welcome to my channel Conquer Crochet. If you're new here please consider subscribing down below and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss a single stitch. If you've already seen one of my videos then you'll know exactly what to expect. I'm going to show you something new to do with crochet every single week. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a granny square. Let's go back to the 70s and learn how to crochet like our grannies did. Stick around to the end of the video because I will show you where you can download the free PDF pattern but also something very exciting that's happening in a couple of weeks time all to do with granny squares. If you're ready to do this, let's get Okay, so there are two ways that you can start off a granny square. You can start off with the magic circle, which I showed you last in last week's video. Um, but this week I'm going to show you how to start off using just chains to make your circle. So I'm going to do a slip knot and I'm going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I then need to join this sixth chain here back to the first chain to make our circle. So I'm going to go underneath that loop there of the chain, yarn over, pull back through the chain, then pull back through the loop on my hook. Tighten up the slip knot as I always do and there is the circle that you're going to work in. If you've done a magic circle or a magic ring, you will have a magic ring here instead. Okay, I'm now going to chain three. One, two, three. And this three chain counts as one treble. So the same as if we were doing um, a turning chain, it would count as a treble in our row. It's going to count as a treble in our circle. So there's our first treble. I'm going to treble two more. The yarn over, pull through, one and two. Yarn over, go into the circle, come back out of the circle, one, two. So we've done all that. Instead of going into the chains, we've gone into the circle. Very similar to the, um, the scrunchie that I made a few weeks ago. So if you want to have a look at the scrunchie video, that's exactly the same sort of method We're going into a circle. So I've made three trebles, the chain treble and two proper trebles. Going to chain three, one, two, three. Now these three chains are going to become the corners of our square. And you'll see as we move through exactly how that works. And now I'm going to chain three again. So yarn over, insert into the circle, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to make another two trebles. One and two. Okay, so we have one side, one corner, and the second side. Chain three, one, two, three. That's going to be our next corner. Three trebles. Oops. Chain three. Three more trebles, one, oops, tail's getting in the way there, two, three. So we have four sides and three corners at the moment. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three to make our last corner. And we're going to crochet into the third chain of this chain here, our starting chain, our treble chain. So one, two, three, I'm going to do a slip stitch. That means I'm going to go into the chain, yarn over, 
pull back through the chain, pull back through the loop on my yarn, and there I have my first square of the granny square. So for round two, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. This will again be a treble, but we'll use this treble at the end. You'll see how it works as we go through. I'm going to chain one, which is our traveling chain to take us over this section here. The next thing we're going to do is to treble, three trebles into this chain space here. So I'm going to go one, it's quite warm here today so my hands are sticking on the wall, one, two, three, I'm then going to do my three chains for the corner, one, two, three, I'm then going to do another three trebles into this chain space here one, oops, two, three. Okay, so there's our first corner done. Now we're just going to travel over this section here, so I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to treble into this corner. So three trebles, one, two, Three, three chains for the corner and three trebles for the other side. Oops. One, two, oops. Three, oops. Okay. We're going over this space we're going to travel, so we need to chain one. Three trebles in the next corner. One, two, and three. Let's unravel some of my yarn here. Chain three for the corner. three trebles, one, two, oops, three. Going to travel over this space here, so I chain one, one, two, three, Three chain for the corner. Okay, do three for the corner. Now we have our three chain here from the start of the row. Now that's going to act as one of our corner space uh, trebles. So we only need to do two trebles now. So one and two. And then we're going to crochet into the third chain from the treble. One, two, three. We've done a slip stitch in there. Okay, so that is round two. So round one and round two. So moving on to round three. I'm going to chain three. Counts as a treble. And we're going to chain, uh, we're going to crochet into this side space now. So I'm going to do one, two, so unravel some more of my yarn. Apologies if you can hear somebody's got a an angle grinder going outside. It's a really hot day here today and I've got the window closed and um, yeah, it's a bit warm. Okay, so one, two, three, moving across here. So I'm going to chain one. Then we're going to crochet into the corner here. So I'm going to go one, two, 
three, <laughs> my hands are getting all sticky, three, chain three for the corner, three trebles, one, oops, one, two, three, try that one again, one, two, three, doing there we go okay now we're going to travel across this space here so we chain one and we're going to crochet into this side space so we're going to do three one two three Travelling across here, so chain one into the corner, one, two, three, chain three for the corner, three travels in the same chain space. So as we keep going round, we chain one to travel, we do three trebles in each space. On the corners we do three trebles, we do three chains, we do another three trebles. So I'm going to speed up the video now, obviously you can slow it down if you want to, if you want to follow with me, but I'm just going to go round to this corner here. Okay, so I'm coming up to the last bit of the corner. I've done chain three for the corner. I'm going to do three trebles into that corner chain space. And then I need to do one chain to travel across to here. So I'm going to be doing chain one and then crocheting into the third chain. One, two, three, slip stitch into the third chain. And there we have round one, round two, round three. I'm going to pause the video here because it is so hot I really need to wash my hands. So I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so we're going to start round four. So we've got one, two, three. We're going into round four. So I'm going to chain three. And that will become one of the trebles for this gap here. So if I'm traveling now across here, I need to chain one. Three trebles in the chain space. So I'm going to go one two three i have to say washing my hands has really made a massive difference so if you are crocheting in the summer and your hands are getting a little bit sweaty and clammy make sure you wash them because it, it just sticks and it doesn't feel nice at all i also tend to use um uh, wool in this um not wool i tend to use cotton in the summer as i find it much easier to work with chain one because we're traveling over here three trebles one two three so chain three for the corner and then three trebles in the other side of that corner one two three chain one for the traveling now we've got two sides on here so we have to double it each side um, you're going to end up with more and more uh, extra side pieces so in this one we only had one 
in this one we've got three uh, two in the next one we'll end up with three so the bigger your square gets the more side pieces you have but the technique is still the same if you're traveling you chain one you crochet three trebles in the space you chain one three trebles in the space chain one and your corner pieces are three trebles three chains three trebles it doesn't matter how big it gets okay so we've chained did i chain the one yes i did i shall chain it again because i just undid it chain one three trebles in the side one two three oops that again that's two and three chain one three trebles one two three chain one to travel three trebles into the corner space one two and three oops three small yarn chain three three travels into the other side of the corner one two and three chain one to travel three into the space so I'm going to speed the video up here again just so I get round to the other side obviously if you want to slow this down that's absolutely fine if you want to pause rewind whatever you need to do that is absolutely fine you can go back to the beginning and watch again not a problem chain one to travel and I will see you in a moment Okay, so I finished this corner here, and if you remember at the start of this round, we chained three and then did a traveling chain. So we need to now use this three chain as one of our trebles. So I'm going to chain one to travel, and I'm going to only chain, uh, crochet two trebles in this space. So one, oops. This is what's happening with the heat now. Everything's just getting all knotted up. <laughs> okay, that's one and two. This one's going to become our third one. So I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain. One, two, three. Yarn in, yarn over, pull through, pull through on the loop. And there you have round four. If you have done um, a magic ring, if you want to pull this tighter in the middle, you can. I actually quite like it with the circle in the middle. It just seems more of a granny square to me, very 1970s. Um, now you can join these together and I will show you in a, another video how to do different types of joining for granny squares. But for now, this is four rounds. Each of these has four rounds in. So one, two, three, four. And you can keep making these. You can make them in lots of different colors. You can change colors after each round. You can finish off any way you like. Rejoin your yarn into one of the spaces. Three chains is your treble and then continue having different colors round. Again, I'll show you in another video how you can do different color changes. And there are lots of different styles of granny square. This is the very basic granny square, uh, the one that you, your grannies would have crocheted in the 1970s. Lots of things were done in granny square in the 70s. 
but it can be made to look more modern by the different colours, the different yarns, having a mixture of these two squares with another more complicated square. So you sort of use these squares as sort of to pad out. Uh, you can make bags using these things. You can make scarves, pretty much anything you want to make, you can make using a granny square. And there you have it, your perfect granny square. Now, as I said earlier, you can make all sorts of things with granny squares. You can keep going and make this into a nice blanket. You can change colours, have each round in a different colour. You could make it with a variegated yarn. Anything would look lovely. The granny square is really quite cute. Now, I told you earlier that you could download a PDF pattern. Sorry, there's a fly in the room. You can download a PDF pattern from my website, which is conquercrochet.com. I'll also put a link below to what, exactly where you can find the right page for downloading your free PDF pattern. Also, the really exciting news is on August the 15th, that's Thursday, August the 15th, 2019, is Granny Square Day. And what you need to do there is when you have crocheted your granny square, you need to take a close-up photograph of it using a one by one. Go onto your Instagram account and post your picture of your close-up of your granny square with the hashtag granny square 2019. Then you need to go into the search option you get on Instagram and you need to click at hashtags, uh, tags, granny square 2019 and then you will get a whole page of all the different granny squares and that will be your virtual granny square blanket. I'll show you a few clips now so you can see exactly what it looks like. So on each of these clips here you can see that there are lots of different types of granny squares. People have done some very intricate detail on some of these pieces of work. And your granny square, no matter how much of a beginner you are, can feature in somebody else's granny, virtual granny square blanket. So I think that's a really cute idea, something really nice that you can do. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell and also give me a thumbs up if you particularly have enjoyed this video. Don't forget there are two more videos that you can have a look at here for different patterns that I have shown you and also you, you can click on my face here and that will take you to the subscribe on my page. Have a look in the descriptions for anything I've talked about and thank you so much for joining me today. Happy hooking!